thought that um, after almost three decades in, in HR and change management, um, I had maybe something to share with colleagues and something to learn from others. My goal and objectives coming here was um, <laughs> back to reality. First you say, yes, I'm coming. Then you say, oh my goodness, what am I going to talk about? And um, what I wanted to, to do is to do something um, pretty humble, um, no, certainly not oriented towards um, giving lessons, um, but really sharing lessons learned, but as well as, as doubts, difficulty, and, um, and failure. Um, and it's also linked to my experience of this type of forums. Um, I like sharing failure rather than rather than big presentation where you know you have a, you have a development of a company you are, you you get out and say you have the feeling that wow there everything is perfect perfectly fit and when you dig into details it's not the truth so I prefer I think it's it's very useful to share doubts and it generates a lot of conversation afterwards which was confirmed basically after my speech. I had a lot of people coming, and then we, you, you start and you engage in a conversation, which I think is the interesting part. Three, the three P's, <laughs> the three double P's. Um, as far as change management is concerned, you need to have a small group, a small group of convinced people, all the one you can rely on, you have no doubt that they are, they are with you, and they can, they can also correct you if you move in the wrong direction. Um, the, principle of, the principle of reality, be flexible and work with the people you have, um, which, is, which is the most important and the most difficult stuff, because you need to bring them from where they are, and they build some comfort in the, in the answer they develop and the professionalism they develop in their environment, so they are not spontaneously keen to change, but you need to do it with them. And, um, and that's it, these are really the, the takeaways I, I wanted the, the audience to, to go out. And basically, at the end of the day, it's asking yourself question and come back to good sense. The sake of having HR processes for the sake of having HR processes has gone. Uh, the, the business are moving too fast. And uh, the challenge for HR is to really come back to the basics and ask, what is the human capital I need in order to prepare to manage in this, to manage uncertainty and to manage constant change? And how can I at the same time, walk the talk in my own processes because it's good to say and to claim we need people um, at ease with, with uncertainty and, and change all the time. But at the same time, it's very paradoxical always willing to have HR processes pretty fitting everything perfect altogether. So there will be also a learning to how to learn with chaos also in, in HR processes because it's aligned with the chaos which is taking place in the organization. So aligning uncertainty even inside the HR processes is certainly something we need to learn because otherwise we will be lessons given but we will be out of the reality. The key teams will be, will be changed. There is no single doubt about it. Um, one was raised today. Um, nobody sees it coming but basically we will, we will lacking of workforce. Uh, for the time being, uh, you know, there was huge unemployment, but it, 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 this time is it, going to get out. So as far as the people are trained, we will lack of resources to work. So the battle has started, but it's, it's only the early stage. Um, and really, fast moving. Fast moving will be the key. Fast moving will be the key. Fast adaptability.